All right, rolling on in the ECG course. We're in level one. This is G-rated for all audiences. You've got to know this stuff. We've done fundamentals. We've done rate regularity. We've talked about P waves, and we just finished talking about measurements. And now we're into the meat of this thing, rhythm interpretation. It's a fairly long unit uh, with several different lessons in it. The first one we're doing right now, and we're going to just preach and preach and emphasize and coerce and demand that you have a stepwise approach. For our paramedic course, we teach it one way. We realize that you will probably adapt your way as you get out of paramedic class, and that's fine. As long as it works and it's right, then that's all that matters. But to teach something, you like to have a sequence and a stepwise approach, so we're going to teach that. Then we'll use that approach uh, as we navigate through some show and tell here on sinus, atrial, pace, junctional, rhythms, AV blocks, that's a long, hairy one, and then vent ventricular rhythms at the end. So this stepwise approach, really don't care what your plan is, but you've got to have a plan. All the experts say you need a plan. We have one for you. It's called RPM ABC. We want you to use that during our course, uh, but you will find preceptors uh, out in your clinical and field time that don't use this approach because it's ours. We grew it. It's not available in stores. It's a custom thing for us, but we like to teach it this way. It makes sense to us. It makes sense to our students. We want to give you a good approach. Uh, but if you're already experienced EKGs, you may have your own plan. Don't change your plan if it works, but consider that your plan is complete. And so maybe you look at ours and some other people's and make sure that yours is complete. We use a lot of Rob Terrio's stuff. Rob's from Ontario, and that's how I remember how to pronounce his name. Rob from Rob Terrio from Ontario. He's done a great deal of stuff. He's uh, online at Paramedic Tutor on social media, and he has done a number of very good short video screencasts that explain EKG from top to bottom. And I am not trying to redo what he did. I'm trying to do stuff um, that is complete for our students in our course and fits in scope and sequence with us. But we use Rob's stuff all the time. A uh, wonderful guy, and, um, and he's generous enough to share all of his stuff on YouTube. So you go out on YouTube and you'll find you know, all kinds of junk out there. Uh, but if you can find Paramedic Tutor and Rob Terrio's stuff, uh, that'll be great. We'll include links for you in Moodle and during the regular course. He's awesome. Right up there with him is Dr. Amal Matu. Um, and he does a weekly ECG video series. He teaches emergency medicine docs in Baltimore and um, is a real deal internationally known EKG expert. Um, he has a weekly video lesson um, podcast, video cast thing that he does. It's real cheap to subscribe to without the discounts like 50 cents a week. This is the best 50 cents you'd ever spend um, and we even got you a discount off of that. Some other folks out there we think are really good. Ken Grauer, Tom Boudelet, um has his EMS 12 lead blog. That's probably deeper than you want to be right now, but you will want to continue following him. And Dr. Tom Smith, real deal experts. Those are the ones that, out of all the folks out there spewing about EKG, that uh, make things appropriate and understandable and therefore usable for paramedics in the field. Mrs. Smith gets better when you know more about EKG and uh, you don't need to know every single thing, these guys make it pretty good. Hey, in terms of books goes, Garcia and Holtz, I already plugged that earlier, that's a great book. We all grew up on Dubin's, all of us old time medics grew up on the Dubin textbook. I've got issues with him uh, from a personal standpoint in terms of some of his morals and convictions and stuff, but uh, it's a good textbook, I think. I read it during EMT class because I was super bored. I started on it, a lot of us started on it, but I wouldn't start you on it. I'd start you on the Garcia and Holtz book. And then everybody loves Bob Page. Well, not everybody. A lot of people love Bob Page. And Bob Page 12 lead book, we actually use the 12 leads in it in class. There's 300 12 leads in that book. And we have divided them up into binders of 50, 60, 75 per section. So you guys in the regular class will do a ton of work using Bob's book. Um, and so it's a good book. Um, and there, there's the choices. In, in my view, um, Dr. Matu's screencast, uh, the Terrio videos on YouTube, and the Garcia and Holt book, that would be more than enough to cover you. And we think actually that our ECG course is good enough, 
but a lot of folks want more and they just feel like it's confusing and they and they want more and then they dig into more and they get more confused um, but that would be an okay plan if you want to do the Matu uh, screencast weekly subscription and if you really want something to get Santa to bring you the Garcia and Holtz book for Christmas because about that time you'll be ready for it so anyway RPM ABC rate and rhythm what are the P waves doing? Is there a P for every QRS, a QRS for every P? There needs to be analysis of what is the atria doing? What are the P waves doing? Then on the measurement side, we do PRI, QRS, QTC. And then later, 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 we talk about axis and only for a specific reason, only to look for conduction system issues. Bundle branch blocks, conduction system issues. Remember, the measurement piece is to look at the conduction system. How's it doing? and then we can look a little bit more with A and B and then everybody wants to go to C and they want to ignore everything up into C. Once you learn about ST segments and STEMIs and T wave changes you think you're a rock star and what will happen is you'll, you'll not handle the basics. You'll miss the rate, you'll miss the P waves, you'll ignore the conduction system assessment through the measurement axis bundle branch and you'll be this ST segment guru. Well whoopee for you, that's great but there's a whole lot more to it so we intentionally put it at the end. RPM, ABC. R, R for rate. RPM sounds like rate. Rate, rate, rate. That's what's the most important thing. This is the one we use. This is the one we'll teach you. For now, just know you need a plan and this is our plan. We'll deal with the whole plan later individually. There may be some confusing stuff. We don't want you to get all freaked out. You're kind of in, in a hurry to get into EKGs. I understand that. But if you go slow, you will eventually be able to go fast. If you go fast now, it'll slow you down in the long run. The same thing with airway and breathing. Go slow to go fast. If you will methodically work your way down the tongue and find the epiglottis, you will have first pass success quickly. If you go diving in fast, you get lost. You won't know where you're at. Same deal with RPM ABC. Do this methodically, R, P, and then M. Don't get all freaked out about ABC. Um, but this will work. We're going to have fun. And that's the stepwise approach. You've got to have one, and this is the one for our class.